Halo. Halo ya every every muslim child is born every child is born as a muslim. Say again what? Say again what? Yeah, every child born muslim fitra, you know. I uh, <coughs> Yeah, and you want to blame me every, for why I'm Every Muslim. child is born as a Muslim? Yeah, yeah but... What does you, that mean? You already... okay, okay, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every child born as a Muslim, that okay, means... What does that, that mean? This destiny thing is already tied off okay, before so we are already... If a child he is sure. born as a Muslim, every child born as a Muslim, if a child from a Muslim yeah. family, and he's born as a Muslim, as you said, if he die, he will go to heaven? Hmm. Still, I think the guy, uh, the child has to work for the, uh, has to work for heaven. Yeah, you know, that's I'm why we are. Is he going to go to heaven or not? Not without being a good person. How he will be good? Like a, a, a child, he is six month old. He die or two month old. Uh, is that is he going to go to heaven or to hell? No, a child, as far as I can remember, is innocent. Yeah, a child is innocent. Yeah, he will go yeah, to heaven. A child right? is he will go to heaven. Presumably, yes. Okay. Your prophet, he said no. Wow. Again, my prophet said no. Yeah. Can are I say you, something? Are you yes. I can tell you are a no, because Muslim. you are making fun of the Shia I'm and your and your icon. Yeah, I'm a I'm a Muslim man. Yeah, I'm a Muslim. You are, you are a Muslim I think Sunni like because you are making fun of the Shia, as I see in the icon, in your uh, in your profile. You are making fun of a fun of the Shia in Iran. Yeah, because the Shias maybe they are more. Okay, so you are Muslim Sunni, you are, no problem. Yeah. So here we go. This is your prophet. He says to Aisha. Aisha told him, "This uh, this child who died, he is a bird of birds of paradise. He never commits sin. He never reached the age of sin. So he will go to heaven." Muhammad he said to her, oh, "Per adventure, don't be stupid. It might be the other way." What do you think? Um, this this um, uh, scriptures are complicated. You know, we have to take our time very, very well. The second you know, after before it we was very easy. A second after it's very complicated. What is complicated? The child he died. He is an infant. He did not reach yeah. the age of sin. I asked you, if a child he died, he is two month old or six month old. He will go to heaven or not? He never commits sin. You said he will go to heaven. So it was very easy for you. Now it's complicated. Yeah, what because happened? I said who is not. Who is now determining the child's fate now? I said, uh, no, I asked you just two minutes ago if a child yes. is an infant, he is two months or six months old and he die. Is he a person will go to heaven? You said yes, it was easy to answer, it wasn't complicated. Yeah. Now I'm showing it's you the hadith, your prophet saying the opposite. Yeah, but this was according to my own uh, understanding. I told okay. the girl, the, so uh, the, how the you, child is innocent. How your own understanding as a Muslim is against your private understanding? How does that work for you? I thought everyone is born yeah. as a Muslim. So how you are born as a Muslim, but you do not understand what Islam means? I am trying to understand what Islam means. Okay, okay, but you are born as a Muslim. So Allah, he put it in fitra. Fitra means that you are born with it. This is what fitra means. Do you know what fitra means? Mm. You Muslims, you copy no. Arabic word, you have no idea what it means. Fatra mean you have a, you, you do poo poo. Fatra mean that you piss. Fatra mean that you 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 creep like a child. This is fatra. You know things were born with us. So how we are born as a Muslim? Because if you are born as a Muslim, then you should know from from the day of, of number one in your life what Muslim mean, and you do not need anyone to teach you because you are born with it. So you Muslim, you are like a like a recording machine. Fatra 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 fatra. Nobody knows what fatra mean. If I am born with this fatra, I should not. I will not need even a prophet because I'm born with it. Oh, you are really a uh, very complicated man. I'm um, complicated. Have you ever heard of a duck? She need to take a class of swimming. She's born what? with fitra. Born with fitra. What is the fitra? She swim. Right away, she come from the egg. She swim. A duck. She do not need to take a class of swimming. Her mother, she will not take her to the classroom. Let me teach you today how to swim. They don't. They right away come from the egg. They swim. So when you okay, say fatra, uh, when you say fatra, learn from now. When you say a fatra, that's mean you are a duck and you know how to swim and do not need anyone to teach you how to swim. So how come you are born as a Muslim but you do not know what Islam is? 
Yeah, uh, you, you remember um, in one of your videos, you talk about, okay, maybe you can still think I'm trying to change the topic. I'm trying to understand my religion, okay? That does not mean I'm trying to run away, okay? Mm -hmm. I want to make sure I understand my religion, and you've been, your avenue has been helpful. So now, please, bear with me, okay? Be patient with me. You talk about um, Prophet Muhammad being born four years, bef if I am not mistaken, four years mm -hmm. before. Four years, four years, sorry, let me get this right. Four years mm -hmm. after his father was dead. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, I try to bring this information to my um, to my landed friend. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not, okay, to my landed friend. But this is debunked. This is not true. Okay? Who, so, who, now... Who, 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 why you don't call the one who said to you not true right now? Let him debate me. Right now. This guy is a scholar, okay? Or so maybe this, is why, this is why we need him to call me. This is the point. Because I want you to see that the scholar is talking to you. He's a duck who do not know how to swim. No, he said this is fabricated. Okay, he, 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 said, will, he said it's fabricated will, hadith. Guys, it's a fabricated hadith. What hadith? The no. guy he married... You, your prophet and his, his and the and and the, uh, uh, the the father of your prophet supposedly and his father they married in the same day so and then Hamza is four years older than Muhammad but Muhammad father he died three months after after he got married so how the guy Muhammad he came his mother she gave birth to him four years after the father death and how he yeah, comes to the conclusion that this hadith is 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 is, is, is fabricated and if it's fabricated why it's there. Why, why the Muslim they have it for tens of centuries and now they discover <laughs> it's fabricated? <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he, he would ask me to, to use my own logic that can somebody be born four years after his father's death? No woman can stay pregnant for that well, long. You're, you're a scholar is a potato. If we go right now and we search in, in, in your Islamic fatwas, uh, we will find the following that a Muslim woman, she can be carrying a child up to 10 years, some they say even unlimited. Here we go. I will give you even the link. So your scholar is a is a fraud. Here we go. This is Islam. A question and answer. This is not a Christian website. This is official Muslim website, and this is in Arabic. Mm. Uh, what is the longest uh, uh, period for a woman to 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 have a child or to carry a child? The answer is here. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number etc. If we click translate to English, you will see. Just to cover the problem of Muhammad, they start saying things beyond the imagination. According to Sharia, uh, it can be two years, it can be four years, we will be careful, three years, two years. I'm not seeing anything. Eh? It's in the screen. According to Hanifi, what is what, Hanafi? What is your uh, sect? Oh, my brother, it's up there. I guess I told you already. What, what, that, is, your uh, uh, what is your sect? I am a Muslim man. <laughs> Tell me what is your sect. Yeah. Come on, come on. What is your sect? You are born from a family, right? What your family sect? Yeah. yeah, we are proud to be Sunnis. Yes, Sunnis. That's another I... question. I know they are Sunnis. Sunni are four sect. What is your sect? Sunnis are four. Hanafi, Shafi'i, whatever, Hanbali, Maliki. Which one? Ah, Maliki, Maliki. Yeah. Okay, Maliki, guys. He said Maliki. Okay, read carefully. <laughs> According to Malik, six years. As Zuhri were married, they said six years a woman she can be pregnant. No, and two then years. As Zuhri and Malik they confirm it can be even seven years. And this is the opinion uh, uh, of uh, as Zuhri and Malik. And then they continue saying there is no limit in how long a woman she can be carrying a child. So, yeah, but you know, according I, to I, your I, sect, according I, to your I, sect, I, according to your sect, yeah, the Malik yeah. start from four years. Read me yeah. carefully. The Malik says. Read, 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 read the screen, read the screen. Four years, according to who? Shafi'i and Hanbali and Maliki. Those are the three majors of the Muslim Sunni. Three major. Ha uh, uh, Shafi'i and, ha and Hanbali and, and Maliki. They say start with three years. Then Imam Malik says it can be five, it can be six, it can be seven. And then there's other opinion, which is not Al-Maliki now, saying it can be no limit. Yeah, but that is that is not possible. Like uh, my friend, my friend, those are your scars. Don't tell me this is not possible. Yeah, but uh, 
brother, you are a very landed person. You know that no woman can stay pregnant I, forever, I, man. I, 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 listen, I'm not talking about this is impossible or not. I know this is stupid. It's another question, but this is your religion. When you're a scholar, yeah. he said this is not true. He's an idiot. Because if he if he he has to belong to one of those sects, you're a scholar. So if he is a Hanafi, if he's a Maliki as, as you, will he have to agree with seven years at least? Between between us, uh, four to seven. This is what Maliki says in front of you. And I can give you the link. Yeah, I brought this uh four years um timeline. Yeah, uh, to my so did you, scholar. Did you ask yourself why why those scars they come with this uh, seven years and eight years and even unlimited years? This is no, honestly, I'm in this six or seven because years. Because Muhammad was born many years after his father's death, they are trying to cover up. Otherwise, nobody. I mean, there's no reason. How stupid is that to say six years, seven years? What is that? You you divorce your wife five years ago. She called you tomorrow. Says that come to the hospital to pay for my, for the baby I gave birth yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. It's okay, stupid. so and, what? Uh, what's your religion? Yeah, okay, so now this Muhammad's father is Abdullah. Uh, what is the second first name all, for Abdullah? First of all, there's no proof that his father's name is Abdullah. And I will prove no, it that's to you. What, because the, uh, his father, okay, let me ask you, his father is in hellfire or in heaven? Sorry, take it easy. What, what, Muhammad's you, what, what father, did he... is he in hell or in heaven? No, come on. I was not, I, I don't know. I, 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 I suppose maybe. I don't know. I just, I, I just don't know. Well, Muhammad says my father and your father in hellfire, and this is Sahih, as you see. He was speaking to a man. He said to him, "My father and your father are in hellfire." So how his name is Abdullah, slave of Allah, and he will go to hell? Yeah, because this uh, Abdullah, this Allah name has been circulating or been in use before Muhammad came into the scene. You know, in one okay. of your videos, I had to uh, confirm in that also. Hmm. So maybe it makes sense why his father's name is Abdullah because a slave Allah Allah has been around in this geographical if area. A, if a person is born from a pagan family, is he noble in Islam? If a if a person is born from a pagan family, is hmm. that person a noble person? Hmm. Is a noble man if he is born from a pagan family? Is I it, think is his father uh, pagan? No, it, this will have to depend. Of course, if the father or this person is already a good man, you know, in your nobility depends on your character. I think your your attitude. Uh, yeah, you know, nobility. Yeah, I know that people can families can inherit it. You know, but yeah, for me, my logic will be: yeah, you have to earn it yourself. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't think you are listening to me. I want to focus with me, please. Okay. Your prophet father is he from a good family? Yes, that's what I am told. Remember, I was not there, but that's what I'm told. His family is a good family. Okay, uh, from the beginning to the end. His so the family are going to go yeah. to hell. You know, remember, it depends at the end of the day. You have to be judged before you can enter this uh, paradise. You have to be judged. So uh, here in the world, people can say you are a good man or you come from a good family. But in front of Allah, you did not pass the exam. You know what I mean? So, so yeah. Okay, but isn't, yeah. It, isn't it the Quran says, No, my Arabic is really not good. I najis don't understand mean filthy. That. Okay. So your prophet is a son of a filthy man. Yeah. This so also possible. And they say to us that Muhammad is born of a noble family. If the Quran describe anyone who is not who is not worshiping Allah truly, he is a najis. Not only filthy, he is filthy to the point you can't wash him. So filthy here will mean like uh, um, it's a filthy you can't wash. It's not a filthy, you take a shower and you are done. No, this is filthy. That means satanic, you know, evil. Yeah, but that still does not mean you cannot go to paradise, okay. you know. So, still, be you can enter paradise. Like, okay. is there any reference that says that if you are filthy, you cannot go to paradise? <coughs> Probably not. If you are, if you are filthy, okay, this is not, yeah. this is not topic now. Listen carefully. Muhammad is a son of Abdullah, correct? Yeah. Okay. Abdullah is filthy. Okay. His mother is filthy. 
Hmm. Do you have references for all these Muhammad words? Muhammad is what? If the like father and the son, the father and the wife, the husband and the wife, they are filthy. The son is mm. what? Yeah, I know you want to say that the son will also automatically be filthy, but the son can otherwise be something else. Cannot be filthy also, you know, like filthy. These uh, parents have to uh, undergo some kind of um, uncleanliness while they are filthy, for example. The son can come over and then he can go to the opposite direction. This is also possible. Buddha? So, like, you you, you telling me, okay, uh, because the parents are filthy, yeah, of course, yeah, the, uh, the child also must be filthy. Yeah, but this can turn out not be the case also. Mm. Okay, so, what do you uh, but, but, uh, but let us uh, go with you. If Muhammad's okay. father... He yeah. was a pagan and his mother was pagan. Yeah. Muhammad, mm -hmm. what he will be? Uh, Muhammad will also likely be a pagan until Muhammad... Exactly. Uh, so Muhammad was pagan. Yeah. He was a filthy for 40 years, right? Yes. Okay, so, guys, uh, so Muhammad was... Sorry, sorry. For, okay, Muhammad was me, filthy uh, for 40 uh, years. All right. Maybe I already come seen by saying that let me withdraw that i, I, I no, no, say no, hold on hold on hold on you don't need to withdraw anything you can withdraw who care but uh, uh, you, you know you have to confirm something very easy to know if muhammad is born from two both parents who don't you know they are not true believers well muhammad will be like them because yeah. even your prophet he says the one when you said to me you are born with the fitra and then there's the, the continuous says and then your parents will make you a jew or a christian or etc correct Yes, like okay. in my case, so I was this will, born. This, this will be the case for Muhammad family. too. This will be the case for Muhammad too. So Muhammad is born as a Muslim by fatwa, as you claim, and then his parents will make him pagan like them. So Muhammad was a pagan for forty years at least, correct? Yes. That makes yes, him najis. The Quran says he's a najis then. So he was a pagan for forty years. He's najis. Question: Do Allah mean, do Allah choose yeah. a najis person to be a prophet? Najis. What does najis mean? Filthy, filthy, mm. dirty. Okay. So yeah, but he can be clean also no. after forty years. We'll have no, to be the, clean also. the Quran says Allah forgive not those who commit shirk. But did did the Quran also not says that Muhammad sins past and present even the future is already for Allah forgive not. No, the Quran doesn't say Allah forgive the past. It says may Allah forgive. But Allah He says. Allah will not forgive those who do shirk. In Allah, la yafuru, la yafur, and you bihi. Chapter four, no, verse forty-eight. Chapter four, yes, verse one sixteen. Chapter five, the verse number seventy-two. We already, uh, already forget. He's a prophet. He is having a special privilege, and this is why. So, hold he... on. You see, are you saying to me that your God is not justice? So Allah, He will forgive only Muhammad. And the rest will not forgive them. That's not fair. Secondly, where you get this privilege from? If Allah says, I will never forgive anyone who take partner with Allah. He never said, I will forgive some and I will not forgive. You're adding things now. Yeah, but because he's a special. In fact, he, this whole world was friend, naked. Show me, because show me the special. It says here, chapter 4, verse 116. One of the funny verses. Allah forgive not. That's it. He did not say forgive not for some. He said, "Forgive not to everybody, to anyone. So if you no, ever, no. if you ever have Allah does only those people who associate partners with Him. And as far as I know, Muhammad never associate any partner with Allah. But okay, you just he told was me you just agreed that he was for he was a pagan for forty years. You forgot? Yeah, but pagan only the definition of pagan means having a different belief, having a different. No, pagan uh, is someone he believe in different God." As simple as that. Those, those are not communists. He believes in different God. So he is born from a pagan family. He was a pagan for 40 years, and you agreed with me. And then Allah, he says, Allah forgive not those who do associate with him. And anything yeah, else, he forgave. The verse is so clear. Uh, there is a qualification here. If you die, while you are associating partners with Allah, then this sin cannot be forgiven. 
Okay, so don't forget the qualification. Hold on. While you that, ask that, the is a, that is very silly. That is very silly. No. Because it's what I love. Hold on, my, uh, friend, my friend, my friend. Hold on. Wait, wait. So if you die, Allah will not forgive you. But this is this is how the justice what? will be anyway. Because if Allah, Allah will judge when will judge in the judgment day, correct? Yes. Okay. So, but Allah did not say if somebody he commit shirk and he. Uh, uh, he did not like uh, ask for forgiveness before he died. Then I will forgive him. He said, anyone who commits shirk, he did not make a limit or conditions. He said, anyone commits shirk, any other sin, I will forgive. So he made it clear that this is a this is a sin. You will never be forgiven. After death, before death, who care? You will never be forgiven. Otherwise, show me where it says that if you commit shirk and I, you ask I guess for forgiveness. Are, uh, I guess there are uh, inter uh, explanations for this particular well, for verse. Sure Muslims yeah, will come with are, explanation. This yeah, is, this is yeah, easy for Muslims. This is very easy for Muslims to, to make explanation. That's why not big deal. Okay, let us let us make let us make it simple. Let's make let us make it simple. So Muhammad was a pagan for forty years. What he was praying for? He was a pagan. That's what we know. He okay. was a pagan, uh, pagan but okay. he was not like he was not worshiping any. Idols like you may suspect, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Around the Kaaba, there's more than 360 idols, and those what his uh, family they were they worship. This is why his his uncles, all of their names is the slaves of one of the idols. Yeah, but uh, all of the idols. One of Al Muttalib is one yeah. of the idols. All those names, okay. all those names is uh, you know. Uh, 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 you know names of idols so all his uncles they are slaves of idols okay but yeah but this is why we see that muhammad's name is not one of the uh one of the names of the muhammad, idols this is not his name muhammad he changed his name because there's no way his name muhammad because simply so i saw no my friend hold on muhammad cannot be his name because the word muhammad means the praised one and that is, a, yes. is that is a title will be given only to god so this man is a is a madman. He wanna he wanna make no. himself he wanna make himself God in earth. So he, he, say, he changed his name, he changed his name, and you can find tons of stories about Muslims change their names after they convert to Islam in the time of Muhammad, because their names doesn't fit with Islam no more, including the name of Muhammad himself. So your prophet name, his real name was Qatham. He changed it. His uncle who died before him, his name is Qatham, and the tradition is when one of the family he died, the first boy, who is a male, supposedly, will come after this person who died, will give him the name of the person who passed away. So his uncle just passed away. Muhammad was born. So they gave him the name Qatham. And this is his real name. Then Muhammad, he changed This is why the Quran see, it says sometimes his name is Ahmad. Sometimes his name is Muhammad. But Ahmad is not Muhammad. You will say to me, it has the yeah, same meaning. Okay, why? why you, okay, hold on. You see, you, you Muslims actually, you are mushrikeen. Because if you're a prophet, is a slave of Allah, how you call you call him the praised one? Yeah, but human beings can also be praised. No. In my lifetime, no. I see many human beings the, being no, praised. Friend, so the, praised it's not... one, the praised one is God. Anyone praise any human, he's not praising, you know, the, he's, he's, a, he's a pagan, he's a mushrik. You praise only God. We Christian, we say praise God, praise the Lord. We don't say praise uh, Paul. We don't say pro praise Pe Peter. We don't say praise uh, anyone. We say praise the Lord. So when you Muslims, you call your prophet praise. Uh, his name is the praise one. So if he is the praise one, who is praise to Allah? That's mean Muhammad is number one. Allah is number two. So who's the God? My friend, uh, please. Praise, human beings can be praised. You know, praise only mean to show approval or admiration for. Word, so you know, you can. Since when the word can, praise yeah. mean approval? Since when the word praise is mean approval? Praise is a urgent term. You say it only to God. You know. Okay, let me say. Do you say praise be to Allah? Do you yes, say praise? Yes. Okay. Have you ever say praise yeah. be to Jibreel? No. Why? Why? Because there was never any need for me to okay, say. Show me any praise. person. Show me any person in Islam. You Muslim. You, you say praise be to this person, beside Muhammad. No, I, 
no, I will only show you my friend. I have friends that I praise. When we play football and then they did wonders, I praise them. Okay, because I admire what they do. And you yeah. know, I think you see, they, praise, yeah. praise is not is not about admiring. Praise is what is an act of worship. You are worshiping God. This is what praise. No, praise the Lord. The dictionary said express warm approval or admiration. Hmm. That's what praise. Praise can also mean that. So, yeah. like, if people like me, yeah, when we use praise, we are not saying that it's only uh, limited to God or to a deity. It can also be um, applied to a human being. Let us, I have let seen us, let us find easy. Who is more important in Islam, Muhammad or Allah? According to Islam, if you insult Muhammad, you have to be killed. And if you repent, still they will kill you. If you insult Allah, they give you three days to repent. And if you repent, they will forgive you. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, how come if you insult Muhammad, you have to die? If you insult Allah, no. No, I never uh, see that. I, uh, um, I... Okay. Squeeze it, squeeze so, it. Squeeze more, squeeze more. Hey, you, 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 what? Obviously, Muhammad is God. Because the insult should, be, the insult should be more serious. The insult should be more serious if you insult Allah, not Muhammad. It should be the opposite. But yeah. if you insult Allah, they give you three days. Think about it. Three days. But if you insult Muhammad, we have to kill you. That's it. What okay, kind of this, uh, who is more sorry. important than who is more important, Allah or Muhammad? Obviously, Muhammad. No, no. I think Allah should be more important. Allah is always How is more, more important. important. But you give me three days to repent. If you insult Muhammad, you, uh, that's it. <laughs> How is it more important? The, you, you, you just admit, agreed that if you insult Muhammad, there's no uh, forgiveness. If you insult Allah, it's okay. Check this out. Uh, Muhammad, this whole world, yeah, uh, this whole world is created because of this man called Muhammad, the praise word. Okay, exactly. so Guys, did, it, you, did you hear what he it, said? Re repeat again, please, what you said. No, uh, come on, bear with me for a second. Like, uh, this guy is so important that we are all here because of him. No, okay, no, 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 so no, no, if no, you just say what you said, you said the whole world is created because of Muhammad, correct? Yeah, this is what I this is what I learned. Yeah, this is okay. what I learned. Huh? So, so, uh, Allah created so you the whole world if, because of Muhammad. Why? That shows you how important this guy is. So, if you are leaving everybody to insult him and there is no consequences, then come on, then he is not important anymore. The significance is gone. So, we have to like we have to keep people from insulting and then demoralizing him. Okay. Yeah. So, but this is my okay, own so personal now, opinion. So now, so now. You are you, yeah. everybody heard you because the whole world is created for the sake of Muhammad, so there is a consequence, yeah. but the whole world is yeah. not created for the sake of Allah. <laughs> Come on, you, you are trying to you are you trying just to put that. me in You just said that, you just said that, you just said the whole world is created for the sake of Muhammad, not, not for the sake of Allah. This is why if you insult Allah, is okay. If you insult Muhammad, no, it's not okay. The whole world is created for Muhammad, not for Allah. Yes. Okay. So who is more important then? Even Allah himself is exist for the sake of Muhammad. <laughs> no, but Allah is not part of the world, you know? Yeah, because so the, Allah is the job of Allah is doing what? Just to create things for Muhammad. You just told us that you Muslim believe. That the whole world, the whole creation, created for the sake of Muhammad. So, what is the job of Allah? Just to work for Muhammad. He is there just to create things for him. Okay, I can see now uh, uh, in the screen that you brought the hadith that I was having in my head. Yeah. yeah, it says, "If for you, O Muhammad, I will not have create, I will not have created creation." Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this this is from some kind of article. Show me the hadith. Don't show me a random article from somewhere. But you are the one who mentioned it. You are the one who mentioned it. Now you don't want it. No, I it of course I because you mentioned it. It is okay. you who said, <laughs> "Allah." We ask you why, if Muhammad will, if insult Muhammad will be killed, but not Allah. You said because the whole world is created for him. But this is where the coming story coming from. The whole universe created for Muhammad. The sky, the, even the chair of Allah, even the pen of Allah, everything. Allah will not have a chair if not Muhammad. Allah will not have a pen if not Muhammad. Allah will not no. have a book if not Muhammad. Allah will not no. send even Isa, even Adam, even everybody created for the sake of Muhammad, correct? 
you know, it's the first time I am seeing this um, this um, reference myself. I had it and I accepted it that the whole world was created because of uh, Muhammad. Yeah, and but now, that's, but that's mean Allah Himself is exist for servant Muhammad. So Allah in Islam is a servant of Muhammad because the whole idea of Allah existence is to what is to make things for Muhammad. There are many hadiths to this effect. Hadiths, uh, yeah, but so, but this okay. So, what, what is the problem? Do you have any problem with this? Well, I think that's what yeah? I'm saying. Muhammad is, is your God, is not Allah. Islam is a pagan cult. Muhammad, he changed his name, he made himself the praised one. So, you can praise him. And as you see, Allah praising yeah. him, Allah, he prayed yeah. for him, Allah, he created yeah. for him. The whole universe is made for Muhammad. So, why <laughs> women are exist for Muhammad? Why Adam is exist for Muhammad? Why cockroaches exist for Muhammad? Why my yeah. computer is exist for Muhammad? Why you and me exist for Muhammad? I mean, are you are you Muslim possessed? Because no. if this is not what worship means, so what is worship? You no, just okay. said we you were... just you just admitted that you Muhammad is God. My friend, we, we, we just worship the guy or the power who created the creation. That's why he said, if not for you, uh, there will be no creation. So we are not uh, so worshiping. Muhammad is the so, reason. Muhammad is the reason yeah. to create everything. So Allah trying to make Muhammad happy. Correct? I'm not sure about that. What do you mean not? Okay, what, what do you say? If not you, I did not create all of this. Is it, yes. Isn't this but, is mean so, that all of this is made for you, Muhammad? Are you happy? No. You just said that is to make Muhammad happy. So, so tell I me, will what not is say. the purpose, guys? I, I, I just said, no, I did not say that. I'm saying to you. So, if he said all of this is made for you, even Isa is created for you, Muhammad. Even Adam yeah. was created for you, Muhammad. Women, children, yeah. uh, horses, dogs, pigs, everything, gold, silver, just for you, Muhammad. Isn't it, this is all mean that I yeah. just made everything just to make you happy? No, no, it means just because of the potential that muhammad is having muhammad's potential and his potential to redeem potential. um what to yeah, redeem he, if the sin created for the sake of muhammad because all of this is a even sin created for the sake of muhammad no no, no don't go there sin that is like okay when adam uh, when adam he commits sin did he choose to commit sin or, or allah force him no, remember, it's not Adam who committed this, this woman who who came and then influenced no, Adam. No, Adam, he ate, or he ate from the tree. Yeah. Did he commit sin or not? Yeah, of course. Okay. Did he choose to eat from the tree or Allah forced him? No, it's the woman who influenced no, Adam to your eat. your prophet, he says the opposite. Your prophet says that Allah, he wrote in his destiny as his fate and he have to do. And he did decide for him to do that 40 years before his creation. No, no, the, uh, my prophet did not say that. My prophet said, Adam said that. Adam said yeah, that. Uh, Adam, Adam, he said that, and your prophet agreed with him. No, my prophet quoted Adam. No, okay? he, my agreed, prophet, he agreed with him. No, 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 my prophet did okay, not say it. Then. Don't be stubborn. Read it. You said he did not agree with him. Read it. Here we go. It says, your prophet, even he repeat, so Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses and he repeated that three times. Do you know what confuted means? So, can you show it properly? I'm not, I'm only saying halfway. Um, okay, so the prophet said, Moses argued with Adam and said to him, Adam, you are the one who got the people out of paradise. Uh, I'm not, you are, uh, I'm not saying anything anymore. Um, yeah, you are paradise. Then Adam said to him, Oh Moses, Allah favored you with his story. He wrote the Torah for him. Or do you blame me for actions which Allah which Allah in my faith 40 years before my creation? So now we see that clearly now here. That's why before I told you, yeah, I told you that um, destiny is something that we cannot ignore at all. You know, there was a destiny, okay? So 40 years before Adam came into the scene. Adam, Adam should, Adam should go ahead and make this mess, okay? And that's why he cannot listen, escape. Listen, listen carefully. Stop talking like a kid. It says here, "Do you blame me?" Does it say, "Do you blame me?" Do you blame do, yeah, do you me? me for okay, so, had so my can we blame Adam for the sin? Why we cannot? We cannot. Why? No. Because no, it cannot. was a destiny. It wasn't his choice. Yes. So if yes, it's my yes, choice, then you can't blame me because I am the one who made it. 
as long you cannot blame me it means it's not my fault do you agree yes yes okay. and if this so is... your god your god he decided to adam to commit sin for muhammad <laughs> no, no, no. What is the religion? Yeah. Well, Why Adam he committed sin? It was the plan of Allah. Allah he wanted to create a person. This person, his name is Adam. Adam will eat from the apple. Allah he forced him to eat. Allah will kick him out. Then Adam will go to earth, and then Adam will have sex with Eve, and Eve will give children. And from the children of Eve, one of the guys will be Muhammad. And this is my plan. Everything is happening is just for the sake of this guy. Let me explain something to you, okay? Mm -hmm. so this, this destiny, this destiny um, stuff, yeah, is also not um, something that is easy, okay? For example, Alan okay, for wrote, example, for example, take a hike. For example, it's not easy. This is the conclusion now. 